Hey guys, it's Saturday, we're nearly at the end of our Japan trip, um, but before we left we wanted to meet up with a guy that I found through YouTube, so when we were coming over here I looked up to um, see if there are any Christian worship leaders over here or people writing songs, uh, I think I just typed in Japanese worship and found this guy called Kenta, which is hey. this guy, <laughs> so I thought we would do a little collaboration video, mm -hmm. so we just filmed uh, a version of You Hear Me, and then we did a version of Over the Mountains and the Sea. Mm -hmm with a chorus in Japanese, which we had to learn. Could you share a little bit about um, how you got started with music and songwriting? Okay, so I started playing guitar when I was in sixth grade, and um, I didn't really know what I was doing, but I enjoyed music, and my dad taught me like, a few chords, G, C, D, and yeah, that was how I started. I started my music YouTube channel three years ago. Uh, you know, four years ago. When I started, I didn't have you know, purpose or anything. I uploaded music every week, but that, that was it. Like, I didn't know what to do with it. I just uploaded it. some secular songs that I liked, and, or worship songs. And then a um, couple years later, I, after I started, um, I started to have this vision in my mind that um, I want to use music as a tool to spread the gospel. Mm -hmm. So I started uploading more worship songs and more <laughs> like every week and I continued doing that for two and a half years I think mm. and here I am now. <laughs> in Japan are there a lot of like original Japanese songs? So there are a few Christian bands yeah. and we use their songs in, in our worship mm. like Sunday worship but exactly. there aren't like compared to US and like other countries yeah. we have like z yeah really few Christian yeah. songs and so that's what I'm trying to do right now trying yeah. to make more Christian songs in Japanese worship songs in Japanese so that we can sing it in church and you know everywhere <laughs> yeah. what's your story of like becoming a Christian becoming a Christian okay that's a hard one <laughs> <laughs> yeah my testimony isn't really you know, dramatic as other people's. Yeah. I, I, I was born in a Christian family. My dad's a pastor, and yeah, I was surrounded by gospel and Bible since I was born. But um, I think I made a confession of faith when I was in sixth grade. Mm. But, you know, like sixth grade, w what do you know? <laughs> <laughs> like, I think I went with the flow, you know. Yeah. yeah. My dad asked me if I believe in Jesus, and I said yes, and... <laughs> before no I knew I was making the confession of faith <laughs> in front of church. Awesome. As I grew older, I started to learn more about Bible and about my sin and about the grace of the gospel and the greatness mm -hmm. of God's love and yeah, becoming a Christian isn't like isn't something that you do it once and that's over. Yeah. I think it's a process mm. and yeah. Yeah, yeah. Same story for me. So <laughs> I grew up in church as well uh -huh. and, and Nathan who's uh yeah, yeah, both yeah. like pastor's kids and ah, <laughs> growing up there so it is like a gradual PJs, yeah. process and journey so. mm. eldest kid eldest kid <laughs> <laughs> of course so if people want to find your channel how do they do that um, you no. can just search me on YouTube Kenta okay. Dedachi K-E-N-T-A D-E-D-A-C-H-I okay and yeah you awesome. will be able to find my channel thank awesome. you <laughs> thanks <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs>
amazing things about Tokyo is that everywhere literally has its own area. I mean, if you want an area for geek culture and anime, then there's an area for that. If you want fashion, there's a place for that. Everything kind of have, has its own place, and it's all pretty awesome. I think we're going to go and check out Shibuya in like an hour. Um, JP's shown us around, doing a bit of tourist stuff for the last couple of days. last 24 hours of our time in Tokyo. Now we're in Higashi Kurume. It's probably not how you say it. Uh, I think that's pretty accurate. I think it's pretty accurate. Yeah, we are here to meet up with some of the guys from Waiwam Tokyo. Catch up with some other missionaries over here. That's nice. Hey! So we're here in a coffee shop right now with Lindsay, who's part of Waiwam and leads worship over here. Uh, so I thought I'd get her to share a bit of what she does. So, Lindsay, hello. Hello. <laughs> Waiwam is, I think it's a biggest mission organization in the world. It's everywhere, um, but w I am currently staffing a YOM Tokyo base, and our vision is to build an altar of worship to the Lord, so our focus is heavily on worship and just giving honor and glory to God. You do these worship nights called living rooms as well. Yes. Do you want to share a bit about those? Living room is basically, um, the name comes from, we desire that place to be God's living room where he can do whatever he wants. When you go to someone's living room, you don't have schedule. You're just like, okay, from 10.30, we're going to discuss about our friendship. And 10.45, we're going to eat snack. Well, you don't do that. It looks really different week to week. There's healing, deliverance, people encountering God, and just really knowing that they are loved, going in more refreshed. Yeah. yeah. What's your story of, like, you grew up in Japan? So my... My dad and my mom both are born and raised in Japan. My dad is first generation Christian. He became Christian um, later on in his life, but my mom was a missionary kid. So my grandparents came after the Second World War as a missionary to Japan, and so I'm a third ge generation missionary kid. Yeah, so Lindsay was actually at uh, CAJ, which was the academy that we were at in episode one of this video. Um, so if you missed that one, you can go watch that here. Could you share a bit about, like, your heart for Japan as a nation. Anything you think God's saying over the nation? Um, mm, I cannot wait for what God is going to do in Japan. I have a lot of excitement and hope. Um, I believe that suicide will be gone in Japan. I believe that they will be a missionary sending nation. I believe that they are going to be a great encouragement to the whole wide world that Jesus is the hero and he is, he really saves and he can redeem anything and so I don't know the timing but I'm ready for it. God you can bring it today. So I'm really ready for anything that God wants us to do as Christians in Japan. I'm ready to just worship the Lord and see what happens. Yeah. yeah. So our time in Japan has come to an end. Um, currently in Hong Kong airport. Uh, this morning we went to Lifehouse Tokyo, which I found through YouTube just looking for Japanese worship and we thought it'd be cool to go and check it out, so we had a great time at their service. I didn't get a chance to film very much because we were kind of visiting and I thought it might be awkward to start filming a church service when people don't know who we are. <laughs> so uh, I've got a little bit of iPhone footage of the worship. We had a great time there. Pastor shared a great message. Um, worship was really cool again, hearing worship in Japanese. And I then bought an injury hoodie. <laughs> Nathan's it like a Padawan. Gone full ninja. Gone full Jedi, full ninja. <laughs> <laughs>